Hi, and I want to welcome you to our summer session of EDS 2970-30. We are ready for an intense six weeks, so I want to show you a little bit about how the pilot shell is going to be set up and give an explanation of what the course will be like because this is an asynchronous online class. So I'm going to open the shell early so you'll be able to see all of this before the summer term actually begins. We are here on the homepage, and and I want to point out a few things. This bar along the top is really is your table of contents, uh, and you can click anywhere to get where you need to go. I want to point out that here, this summer due dates calendar is always going to stay right there. If you click on it, it's going to take you to a spreadsheet that shows you exactly what we're doing and when we are doing it. At the top here, I have linked um, a copy of a textbook that you may use. You can choose to use a digital version like this, or you are welcome to go online and find uh, a paperback version of this if you prefer paper to digital. If you decide to buy a paperback, you just need to know that the page numbers that I use here are for the digital copy that I have here in my Google Drive that I'm happy to share with you. Um, and so you'll just need to pay careful attention to the chapters if you get a paper version. But what you can see here is the calendar is marked out week by week. Everything in red is week one. Everything in orange is week two. And you can see that it goes down. In the left most column, I have the topic. This is what we're talking about. I always have the beginning date, the Monday date of the week. This first column will tell you what it is that you will be reading or engaging with. The Tuesdays are yellow. These are due dates. This is what's going to be due on Tuesday. This is what's going to be due on Thursday, and this is what's going to be due on Sunday. We do have three due dates during the week because we are covering 15 weeks of content in six weeks. So I want to point that out to you so that you have a sense of what is here. I am making the entire course available to you so you may work ahead as you need to. And you'll note that most things here are hyperlinked. So if I have a mini lecture, you'll hover over that and click on it and you'll get to see the mini lecture. Okay, so I want to point that out to you, but that's always going to remain right here at the top of our page. Next, you'll see news items. Now, I will send you some emails, but for the most part, everything that you need uh, in terms of updates are going to appear here in the news category. So this first one you'll see, welcome to our course. Please introduce yourself. Our pilot shell is now open, even though our class doesn't begin until next Monday. Not this coming one, but next Monday. We're going to be using Flipgrids for our discussion boards. So you have already received an invite in your email for that, but I've also linked them for you here. You're going to be in four groups. You'll see the groups are listed here. That's your group number. And then you've got group one, group two. You'll see that these are hyperlinks. So if you are in this group one, you'll click here, and that's going to take you to group one. Okay, so that's going to be the group one discussions and you're going to see all of the different discussions that you will be doing. Once you click on those individual topics, you will see the instructions. So for instance, this is the hello one. Uh, and if you click on that, you'll see the instructions here. And then you'll see that I've already recorded my introduction for you. You will just click add a response and it's going to give you an opportunity to set up your camera the way that you want to. You're going to have to say yes, allow the microphone. Yes, allow the camera. And that's going to appear for you here, and you'll get to see that. You'll get to press the record button, and you will have the opportunity to uh, stop the recording at any time and restart it if you need to, okay? All right, so that is, that's there. That's what you're going to see. If you scroll a little further down, uh, you'll see I've linked all of the student support services. This is a fully online asynchronous course. So if you have any technical difficulty, please get in touch with CATS immediately. If your computer dies, go to CATS and you can check out a laptop because they have them for you. If your internet goes down, go to CATS because you can check out a hotspot. So there, the, everything is fully online and technology uh, is never going to be an excusable absence or an excusable excusable, uh, late, or not submitting work because we have so many options for tech. So I want to point that out. You'll see at the top we've got home. That's always this page. Start here. I want you to click on that to get started. We hit the ground running. We have a really, really busy semester. So you'll see start here. And I start here with the syllabus. If you click on that link, it's going to take you to a Google Doc, which is our syllabus, all the information that you need. If you see here the weekly calendar and due dates, it's the same link as on the first page. And then we've got a whole list of things, the how do I section. Before you send an email saying, how do I do this? Check to make sure it's not here. How do I email my professor? How do I cite my sources? Uh, you're going to be doing 
a bunch of Iris PD modules. How do you register? I'm going to show you here. How do you see your feedback? Uh, how are the instructions? How is my work graded? So if you click on that, you'll see some explanations on rubrics and how things are graded. Okay, so that's that's where we start in that how do I section. Next, creating your success in an online class. If you've done lots of online classes, fantastic. If you haven't, it's still an opportunity to be fantastic. There are some really specific things you're going to need to do, like learning how to read and take notes if you don't already know how to do that, the time requirements. This is an intensive. We are cramming 15 weeks into six, which means even though the university policy is like a couple of hours a week, we're going to end up with like 10 hours a week, uh, possibly, um, up, up for you to be doing this work for this course. So know that going into it so that you can be successful and some strategies for success. Some different kinds of tech things for you. I use Google for almost everything. So if you haven't used it before, that's fine. I'll show you how to do it. Uh, there's some videos on how to use your Google Drive. The textbook that we're using for this course is going to be uh, the text that I showed you before, this Special Education in Contemporary Society. You are welcome to go to the bookstore or Amazon and buy a paperback version if you want. I have a digital version in the calendar um, that I use that I'm happy to let you use as well. And then the very first thing you'll need to do is watch this Daniel Habib TED Talk called Including Samuel, okay? So that's how everything is going to be set up. The only thing that you really need is going to be access to your text and the web, all of the internet. But basically, everything you want to do is linked from our calendar. So if you click on that front page and you go to our Google Calendar, you're going to see it here. It looks pretty busy. It is pretty busy. But the context, this is where the top topic, here's what we're doing, and then these are the due dates. Um, if you are new to using Pilot, our online learning management system, our LMS, you'll see that if we go up here to grades, you'll pull that drop down menu and you'll go to the Dropbox. This is where you'll submit your work. Everything has to be submitted, so even like the flip grids where you record them, you'll have the opportunity to get a, um, a hyperlink and you'll send that to me here. All right, so back at the home page here. Okay, so that's where you're going to put those things. If you want to check your quizzes and exams, you'll see that it'll, it'll say on the schedule there's going to be a quiz on Pilot. All of the quizzes are here. You'll see some of these that don't appear. They have that little eyeball. That means you're not going to be assigned that. The very first thing you're going to do is that course introduction quiz, uh, and then we have all of the rest of the quizzes in there for you. Okay, so any questions about that, you just let me know. You'll see the grades. If you click on your grade book, it's going to take you uh, uh, to your grades and it will show you here this is where you'll see any feedback um, for all of everything that you submit okay if you need to get in touch with the rest of the class you can click on class list and you'll see everybody that is in our class okay if you have any questions just shoot me an email and uh, and we'll get started just as soon as we can I'm looking forward to working with you all